Hello everyone, I'm Eric Cutter from Alegria Fresh. This is Logan Cole from Planted Cuisine. Uh, we like to call ourselves the farmer and the chef. We are so happy to be announcing the opportunity to purchase what we call a farm box through the Second Harvest Food Bank. And the farm box is a little bit different in the sense that it's got heart, gut, and brain healthy greens, herbs, and vegetables. And Really what it is, is it's the ultimate salad in a box. The differentiating part of what we're offering in our box is, is that it will be delivered within five, six hours of harvest, right to your door, right before dinner. You'll be able to take advantage of some of the most nutrient dense, fresh produce grown in Alegria's premium living soil. Basically, there's no other offering of its kind like it. So I'm gonna turn it over to Logan here. He's gonna demonstrate some of the things you can do with the fantastic ingredients that we put in the farm box. So Logan. Take it away, man. Absolutely, and the beautiful thing about this farm box is that the, the flavors are truly incredible. All right, so right out here in front of us, we have a beautiful spread of what you can typically find in a farm box. We have two stunning heads of lettuce. We have some chocolate mint, one of my favorite uh, flavor profiles right there. We have parsley, we have fresh dill. We have garlic chives. We have three, four different types of basil, each with their own unique flavor profiles and also color. Celery here. We have Swiss chard, which of course comes typically three different colors. We have sorrel, which is gonna be a burst of spring lemony flavor profile on the palate. We have some gorgeous kale, which you can tell just how clean and beautiful that looks. We have some Mizuna greens, a traditional Japanese green, which very mild in flavor profile, but has a great crunch and is gonna add great texture to the salad. And then we have, of course have fennel, that licorice flavor profile. Once again, great for texture and just a flavor pop. And then we have a little bit of fresh oregano, which is one of the absolutely best herbs out there for your health. And then a beautiful array of uh, calendula flowers, which are those right there, and then nasturtiums, which have a fantastic peppery flavor profile. So at the end of the day, what you have here is all the ingredients for arguably the finest salad that you can put together. So of course, the first step in the prep process is making sure you give everything a thorough rinse wash off, which we've already gone ahead and done. You want to get a nice salad bowl. You got to have a nice salad bowl. You know, I've seen people cut up all their lettuce. There's nothing wrong with just tearing into it. This lettuce is so crispy and fresh. I mean, again, four, six hours ago, this was harvested. So it's saying a snap right off. You can hear this crunch of uh, this beautiful uh, romaine lettuce that we have here right now. And we're just starting to put this salad together. It's up to you. If your preference is a smaller cut on your lettuce, maybe a knife is better but it's really nice to have uh, different sizes because it actually creates a better texture and mouthfeel experience when you go to eat it. Because don't forget, we have multiple ingredients. So things like chard, we will chop. I'm all about visuals and, and that's one of the beautiful things about a salad like this. So when you think about that, uh, that visual in a salad and when you're going to eat it, there's nothing wrong with you know, having a, a piece of lettuce that's say that big, it's beautiful. And in terms of other things that I'm gonna use my hands to prep with, kale is fine. And one of the tricks with kale, the stem is delicious. You can either chop it up fine, which I'll demonstrate, or you can save the stem and use it in a stir fry. There's, don't forget, there's multiple uses for, for all these vegetables, but we're doing a salad. So I'm just saying to hold the stem up here nice and firm and just strip it. That's all you do. I'll do it one more time. But so you're just grabbing it, nice and firm with the left or right hand, taking it firm with the other and stripping it. Um, it's easy as that. And then you just have the nice leafy greens, maybe uh, a little bit finer than you would with the lettuce. Otherwise, same process. And this is not your typical kale. You need to take a bite of this and be like, that's delicious. So I'm just saying to go ahead and process everything that I can with my hands first. So we have this beautiful basil. This is a cardinal basil, one of the varieties out at Alegria. Again, you could leave a whole piece, you could rip it in half, up to you. Uh, but again, when you're going in to bite uh, this, this lettuce, once it's all prepared and you're sitting down to eat, uh, every bite's gonna be a little different. And that's one of the beautiful things. The, the flavor uh, explosion in your mouth is gonna be a little bit different because of the, the variety. 
And a friendly reminder, if as you're going along and you encounter something like this, which is the real thick stem of the basil, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of uses uh, in the kitchen for this. You could actually make a tea uh, if you want to start to get really creative. But just a friendly reminder to compost uh, your food scraps to make sure it goes back into uh, our soil to make more delicious, healthy food. So we're going to finish off here with the different beautiful types of basil that we have. And as you'll start to see, this salad is really starting to take shape with a ton of different beautiful colors. And again, you know, we're just not used to creating a salad like this. This is going to be a one of a kind salad the first time you make it. The experience of eating it is going to be one of a kind. And I'm willing to bet you're not going to want a salad uh, any differently moving forward because it's so flavorful. At this point in, in constructing the salad that we're putting together right now, you might as well turn off your uh, essential oil diffusers if you have them because this is already an aromatherapy bath for your senses. The flavor popping off of these and just it, it, it kind of you kind of feel like you're in a garden or in a farm right now, uh, which is kind of the idea uh, around this box is to kind of bring the farm uh, to your plate. Uh, around dinner time or lunch time or even breakfast. There's nothing wrong with a breakfast salad. Multiple things like chard and the sorrel, these are both great examples, where they have a pretty sturdy stem. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work on, once again, stripping the leaf and then I'll cut the stem after. And the stems have such a wide variety of uses. Fantastic for stir fries, just treat them like carrots, cut them up a little thin, sauteing them. They can go over rice, grains, beans, whatever it might be. So a lot of different uses uh, for the stems and there's so much flavor in the stems. For whatever reason, we're traditionally used to uh, discarding stems and things like that and there's really no need to. Highly recommend getting a little creative in the kitchen and, and chopping those up and putting them to use in different types of dishes. So we have the celery, we're doing the leaves in the salad, reserving the stems. The leaves of celery, chard, whatever it is, has that flavor profile you would expect from those vegetables. We're just building layers of texture and flavor that's saying to create this, this salad unlike anything you've ever had uh, that is just such an incredible experience, <laughs> I have to say. First time I've ever had an Allegria salad, I, didn't want to go back to anything else. Mizuna, I need to take the very end of the stems off. The Mizuna is really tender. The, the flavor profile is very mild, it's juicy. So don't be afraid of a little bit of Mizuna stem in there. Uh, just to kind of give you an example, it's, you know, we have a little bit of the stem in there. And just to make sure I'm not lying to you, I'll eat it on camera. Somebody told me not to chew with my mouth open, but here we are. Fennel, same principle. I'm just saying to take the bad hair day, as I like to say, fennel pieces off and might be a little bit harder to, to break off. But again, one of the great things about an Allegria salad in the various textures and ingredients we're putting into it is that it is going to force you to chew a little bit. There's a lot in here. And one of the healthiest eating practices, lifestyle practices we can do in our everyday lives is chew our food a little slower and a little better and we're kind of forced to do it with a salad like this because of the different textures and just your desire to want to appreciate the work you put into it and the flavor of food grown properly. And one of the reasons too that this salad requires a little bit more chewing time is the dietary fibers that all of these vegetables and greens and herbs are loaded up with, which strengthens our gut health, which in turn strengthens our immune system, which of course is just fundamental to, to not only being healthy, but thriving. And, and I have to tell you that you eat a salad like this and you start to to thrive and you're you're vibrating after eating a salad like this the energy levels that you get and the feelings I, I tell you what it's just nothing else like it and it's because we're putting so much diversity into one bowl of salad that's what we're talking about here and that's what we're showcasing is the diversity and giving you the knowledge that even though there might be a lot of different things here that you haven't worked with before that's the whole key to diversity is loading your system up with a variety as we talk about variety and color, uh, we have these beautiful nasturtiums. I work with edible flowers like these from Allegria all the time. I put them on plates all the time. And one of my pet peeves is, is that 
even with me pleading sometimes with guests to eat them, they're left behind. And the silly part about that is you're leaving behind the most powered up foods because flowers, you walk by them, you, you think about how beautiful they look. Uh, but in reality, flowers actually are the most powered up part of the plant because the plant itself is putting everything into the flowers to reproduce life. And so it's an opportunity to not only appreciate the beauty, but to get all of those loaded up benefits that the, uh, the plant is producing within these flowers like calendula. And as you're constructing your salad, especially the first time, please try everything as you go and experience on a one-to-one -one basis what everything tastes like. And then once it's in a bowl and you're ready to eat, you'll get the full experience. But pop a nasturtium flower in your mouth. It'll take your breath away for a second. Get that nice, beautiful peppery. It's peppery, but also sweet. That's a nice thing. Nature balances itself out when the food is grown properly. These petals are beautiful. So all I did with the calendula, I just stripped the petals off of the flower and sprinkled them in there, which is fun because a couple of calendula flowers and you're gonna get a, a, not only the, the flower's health benefits in each bite, but you're also gonna get that color burst as you start to see that really taking shape. We have one last ingredient, which is dill. And this is just, again, going to add that burst of flavor. We're gonna strip just the, just the frilly parts off and leave the stem. If the stem drops in, try to fish it out. As you can now see, I've done pretty much everything with my hands. So we have all of our ingredients in here, have a cutting board conveniently located right here, as well as a knife. So these are our garlic chives. And the reason we're gonna take a knife to them is they're garlic. And I mean, garlic has a pretty strong flavor profile to them. Garlic chives, I would, I would personally say, are a little bit more mild than your typical bulb of garlic. So we're just saying do a nice little chop on our garlic chives to complete our salad. And as we're nearing the end of constructing the salad, it's a great time to start talking about dressings. Ever since I first walked on to Alegria Farms and decided I wanted to become a chef, I've had the privilege to work with the finest ingredients that I've ever tasted in my life. And what it's taught me is to get out of the way of nature and the expertise of a farmer's hand in the sense that we don't wanna to do too much. We all have our favorite salad dressings. Typically they're store-bought. Maybe you get creative and make your own. But the truth is, is that dressings in general, the ones that are typically super creamy or super sweet or whatever, are a way of making up for the lack of flavor that typically exists in the salads that we're used to consuming. So without question, my strong recommendation, the first time you're putting an Allegria salad together is to go super simple. You can always do something else after, but my recommendation, we have a lemon here in front of us. Lemon, olive oil, and salt is all you need. Because again, all we've been talking about here is the diversity in the flavor that exists with all of the uh, greens and herbs and vegetables we've been putting together. Olive oil, a good high quality olive oil, salt and lemon, and you're off and running. Uh, because every single bite is gonna be that flavor explosion, which would typically be there with a, a store-bought dressing. Instead, we're letting nature be the dressing overall. So powerful antioxidant lemons are, and it also just helps preserve uh, your, your greens and everything you've been putting in there. So even if you're not uh, ready to eat it just now, nothing wrong with uh, just a little bit of lemon juice. So I'm gonna do a full lemon. One of the things you're gonna start to realize when working with nutrient-dense food like this is a little goes a long way uh, because when we eat, our bodies are looking for certain nutrients. And so when we eat a powered up salad like this, our body is going to be more full and more satiated that much quicker because we're just powering it up with everything it's looking for. We overeat constantly because we're filling our bodies up with the foods that are lacking the nutrients that we need. But with this, don't even have to worry about it. And it's a good time to just check, make sure you didn't get any stray stems in there or, or too unruly of a big piece of lettuce or whatnot. So here you have your final product, a beautiful bowl of salad comprised of Allegria Fresh's finest selection of greens, herbs, and flowers. A beautiful sight to behold and certainly to consume as well.